Shit. 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 Hi, I'm Jason Logson from Adventure-Logs.com and I hope everyone out there is doing all right with uh, what's going on right now. I apologize for such a delay on getting this uh, next video out. My life has been pretty hectic and I'm sure all of yours has been too. But don't worry, we'll get through it all and uh, we'll continue on. So today's video is uh, mostly about uh, high wind solo landing these foil kites. Whoa. And when it doesn't go right, why and what we can do to prevent it. Uh, but also I'm going to compare the two a little bit. Um, I haven't flown a Sonic in quite a while, I would say at least 18 months, and the uh, sole is so easy that I kind of got a little complacent, but uh, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't say that the uh, Sonic is difficult, it's just more sensitive to uh, your bar position when you land it, and it just takes a little bit of getting used to. I had no problem landing my Sonic 2, and I see no reason why the Sonic 3 will be any different. So what we're going to do is uh, I'll play uh, both the uh, landings uninterrupted. Uh, first we'll do the uh, sole and then we'll do the sonic. And then what I'll do is I'll break down each aspect of the landings and uh, basically why each thing happened and uh, what I did to correct for it. So um, okay, let's go ahead and start. All right, so first thing first, the reason why I had such difficulty with landing these kites was not the kite's fault whatsoever. It was 
90% bar setup and about 10% due to the really gusty uh, shifting winds. Normally, I use the fly surfer bars and I love them because they have these plastic steering line balls that I use to backstall the kite. And for me, they are in the perfect position so I know exactly how much I need at all times. Currently, I'm trying to build a custom bar setup and I don't have those steering balls set up correctly. So as you can see, the kite is moving around constantly and it's not doing what I want to do. But we can use this as a learning experience. As you can see on the sole, when the kite is sitting on the ground, the trailing edge starts to flip up. This is a very good indication that you have too much backline pressure. The kite is backstalled too much. The problem with this is that the wind can easily um, travel underneath the kite and the kite can flip over 180 degrees and relaunch backwards in the air. So what you should do is release some of that backline pressure until that trailing edge folds back down to normal and that should be the right amount. The problem I had was I was wearing very slippery gloves so I could not hold on to the lines with the pressure. As you can see though I was trying very hard not to wrap my hands around the lines because that's just dangerous and just put as much pressure as possible on it. Towards the end, since the lines were slipping so much out from underneath my hands, I just let go of one side, which essentially flags the kite out to safety and was able to finish up the landing. Now with the Sonic 3, the first thing I did was take off the gloves so I could hold the lines a little bit better. But since this kite is definitely more performance oriented, it is more sensitive on bar position. Uh, so you can definitely tell, once again, I had too much backline tension and the kite started spiraling in the air. But what's kind of nice is that it didn't really have much pull. So it, even though it looked very out of control at no time did i feel like i was in danger it was just more of a surprise as you could probably tell but once again you just adjust that backline tension and to the point where the kite starts behaving the way you want and everything works out well so the main difference between uh, self-landing the uh, Soul and the Sonic 3 is basically how sensitive the kite is to backstall. The Sonic 3 definitely is more sensitive, but being performance oriented, you can expect that. Uh, that means that basically you have less throw to play with. But on the other hand, this is quite nice non-normal riding that means you can easily spiral the kite uh, you can just play with it you can uh, pivot it very quickly uh, without any uh, pull really from the kite and just makes it a more dynamic and fun kite so which kite do i prefer that all depends uh, for a situation like this where the wind is gusty and shifting and things like that the sole the sole is very easy, it's very manageable, it just, you have less chance of messing up. But for performance, for hang time, for just fun, uh, I would pull the Sonic 3 anytime. So uh, thanks again for watching. Um, this is Jason Logstrom from Adventure-Logs.com. I'll see you on the water.